Here we are again, another fucking morning. I was in a great mood just a minute ago, but now we're back to business Whoa. and more bullshit. So let's see how this goes. What? The fuck would I take 50%? I don't understand where that logic even comes from. Did you fuck up 50% of it? If someone over there could explain to me why I should take a financial hit, I'll be glad, glad to hear it. So far, all I've done is put in orders, sit in artwork, and get fucked. Put me on the phone with him, because I guarantee you, he will fucking do what I want. I guarantee. Fucking T it. Or he'll or part what? ways with He's us. parting ways with shit because I'll call him boss. He's not the boss, homie. He's just an employee. Parting ways with nothing. Got no fucking managerial move. I'm trying to get everything without having oh, to go through that. That would be great if they did their fucking job. But they didn't. Now they're telling me to keep giving them money. So I'm not gonna do it until they fix it. It's that fucking simple. We call him one more time. Without you great. and then you and then if we don't get what we want, I'll call him again and you can get on the phone. Every fucking day. He said they'll be in Friday. Why are you yelling at me today? I don't know. You yelled at everybody what to do to you need to yell at. Dude, I am Talk about sauce, sauce going to get this so. done and then you're gonna... This doesn't mean I don't wanna hear you to yell at somebody. It's like trying to get your teacher to cuss. I just say fuck, I know you say it at home. What? I... So some people are cutthroat and some people get the throat cut. I'm not getting my throat cut. Yeah. And I'm not gonna cut any throats. I'm like the shaman on top of the mountain waiting for all y'all to stop fighting. But when you print my shirts for the shaman fucking gift shop, bitch, you better have shit's right. Your beats are fucking the most disgusting colorway you've ever seen, by the way. No. Yeah, we really need to go get you fucking AirPods. How did you pick the only wireless fucking headphones that still have a wire? Because you love the cord. No, oh, why is that there? Because it goes behind your neck. No, I wear it in front. I wear it in front too. I got called out in the vlog for it. It's yeah. more comfortable that way. It doesn't pull back on my ears. We're playing the waiting game. Yeah, we're to playing. To be fully transparent about what's happening. We're playing the waiting game and I'm that... getting out of the house. And I found another dumpling spot. Let's just go to Cut Above first, get weed. Because we have to go buy the dispensary every day, apparently. Oh, man. I'm so annoyed. Yeah, I don't know how much talking I'm going to do. I'm just waiting. My head. Because depending on what they say next, just changes everything in the whole game. How does it change everything? It doesn't change shit. Why are you giving them so much power? Then we get tell them fuck off but then it's just a whole other thing we don't ever have to get to a point where we say that like straight up you're not and gonna get my next business and when you take the phone business. from me you weren't gonna it seemed like you would have said anything at that it doesn't point. matter what it seems like I'm gonna say just cause I'm mad I'm not a fucking idiot I know how to do business get people to do what I need them to do and articulate myself when I'm fucking angry so it doesn't matter what you're afraid I'm gonna say because I'm venting to you it doesn't have anything to do with I'm never sure. guidance counselor how many fucking relationships have you seen me fucking burn down none so what are you talking about yeah I guess I'll just put it to him in a way that he'll understand and be like no it won't be nice but at the same time like that's why I'm not with Sager so when someone else fucks it up I can yell at them because it's their job hold on that's a fucking job what just happened Ern hold on tell him Ern you might be switching printers why Ern um you're making me nervous here who just got a phone call um you did from our friend around here and now I have a whole new dilemma of something I, I gotta ask for though now see this is where I get thrown off because now my whole cutting this we got shit to talk about like I don't even want to have to edit through later basically Superior who we've printed with before who we printed with in the beginning first waves or anything that was crazy holy cry all the like really high tech printing which we love it just got to the point where the relationship between Superior Sager and myself was just too crazy and I needed time to back off and I tried to get back in touch with yeah, I had to call him a few times. So now he called back and he's ready to work for Godzilla and get this handled in a manner that he's to get handled. So I told the universe is what I need done. What? I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this. This has just been a long two days. It's been a lot of up and down here. I'm just hey, riding the teddy Riding the teddy wave? Whew. Being mad is fucking being mad, but I kept saying to you, I'm not, gonna, I'm not arguing about this today. I'm just going to find the fucking solution. There's a solution. And the solution is not listening to somebody tell me that the reality is not what I say it is, bitch. Like, it's my world. It's whatever I say it is. And if it's not, I'll make it that way. And that's just like how it has to be. I can't, I can't accept what other people have accepted as reality. You know how many people in my life have told me, well, it's just the way it is, Teddy. It's the way it is, Teddy. Well, well I think you think I'm telling you that sometimes. No, I I'm don't. Just I just think that you sometimes the, will like, let somebody else tell you that. You don't want to argue and you don't want to push the issue and you don't want to make anybody mad and... You want to stay no. friends. I'm fine with all that shit, but at the same time, like, I can't walk away not having somebody know how I feel You're about it. You're never gonna believe these are my friends, though. I d I've They're never friends. met you. You're a friendly fucking flying. You're a cartoon character in a comic book. You be friendly. Cause you're friendly to everybody. Like that's just who you are. You can get a lot with that shit. You absolutely can. You catch a lot more flies with honey. 
know yeah. what I'm saying? Absolutely. But Hoping I'm not worried. that I'm this not, email strikes a chord and these guys go, you know what? This I'm hoping is a good so dude. too, but you are nervous. The difference is like you're hoping it strikes a chord. I hope it does too, because I would love to keep a solid relationship with everybody that I meet. Yeah. But I also don't care if they're gonna drop the ball on me and they're not gonna value me and my relationship. Well, I also like this backup plan gives me a lot more confidence to go. You should right, have that now confidence. You should have that confidence at all times. You always have a backup plan. You always have a choice. Yeah, but there's timelines. Like it makes it. There are timelines, but at the end of the done. day, you just give now it money back. the timeline's even faster. You always have control. You just want something, and I want it too. It's nice to make money and make profit, but not if you're not offering out what you promise, especially not to our fucking friends and family. I get it, and that's what. I know, oh, it's just that they don't get it. That's the problem. I'm trying to get other people to understand you. It's just, you know. You know the real lesson here is, is when you wake up frustrated and you don't know what to do, instead of sitting at home and wallowing in it, also go do some shit. And that's how you get ideas. That's how you unlock fucking things. That's why life's a video game. If you stay in one room during a video game, do you get treasures? Oh, uh, dude, like no. Red Dead, you just stay. Fuck there. Red Dead. Red Dead's too slow. But yeah, you get there. out on that horse. You never explore. know what you're gonna find. Get out there. Bubble water. Hold the flavors. I love you. Uh, like roll us into some shit so I can get the ball rolling. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got capital. Band. So I have a good friend of mine who is in New York uh, State Prison. He got charged seven years for robbery, and he's been in I think now for three or four years, almost five. He's been moved two or three times, and this last time he just got moved to a place, and then now has just written a letter to his mother saying that he's been put in the box, he supposedly found a weapon in his cell, which he's saying he didn't have, and that ever since this incident, they've basically just been out to get him and he's being pushed around, and I don't really know what to do about it, so that's why I'm calling you. You know if he got a prison charge for the weapon? Or there was nothing charge nothing charged as far as I know. He got any physical injuries from this, or just they put him in the box? Uh, none, none that I know of, but I haven't been able to talk to him. Right. Well, it's tricky to do. You know, the prison disciplinary system can be really little recourse with that, you know. What you're saying, subscribing sounds like the kind of thing that they're not supposed to do, it's totally unprofessional, it's wrong that they're doing it. It doesn't sound like he has a lot of recourse in the legal system. Right, and that's all I really wanted to reach out is if there was some way for me to do something, I'd do it. I appreciate your insight. I just wanted to see if there was some recourse or if I just need to try to get in touch with him and tell him to hold his head. He doesn't want to bring a lawsuit about anything that happens in prison. He needs to file a grievance as soon as possible. Hey, Bernie, it's Teddy. Hey, Teddy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm not doing good. I know, I heard, I heard it's not, it's not good. I'm not happy either at all, not one bit. I just got off the phone with a lawyer. There's not anything we can do, whether they're lying or they're not lying, which they are most likely lying. I know for sure they're lying. I do too, because that's not... Jay's not gonna do anything like we can't do anything about that but what we can do did Jay already file a grievance do you know if they've hurt him at all does he have any like physical he didn't say that okay I'm gonna take a picture of the letter and send it to you guys as long as that grievance is filed if anything happens from this point on yeah. at least we have record of that with the system they physically harm him in any way we can sue them right now it doesn't seem like he's gotten any criminal charges out of this yeah. if if they try to bring him any criminal charges, at that point, I will hire a lawyer. I'll be down there in two seconds. You don't need to worry about that, okay? Thank you. Yeah, so I don't want you to worry about any of that stuff. I know all the information. That I just need to wait to hear from Jay. Can he get letters while he's in the box? Yeah, he's, uh, he just asked me to send him some money to buy stamps. Send me everything that he sent you, so and I'll make sure he gets some money for stamps and everything, too. And I'll also write him a letter and just all explain right. to him. But I got it, Bernie. Don't worry, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course. All right. Love you. I hope you have a good holiday. Thank you. Thank you. Right. You too. If you need anything, call me. I don't care what time it is, all right? Thanks a lot, Daddy. Right. I appreciate that. Of course. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Let's go eat dumplings. Jesus. It's such a small little place, dog. Closed on Monday and Tuesday, but it is Wednesday. Looks like it's not closed for good, though. I mean, the tables are set. There's sauce on the table. Today is crazy, homie. I just wanna go home. Today is just full of surprises. Uh, shit just keeps fucking happening, I guess. Yeah, man. So, one problem gets figured out, and then another problem, which is a much bigger and humbling problem that makes all this other shit 
this shit seem pointless. If those of you that don't know, my friend Jay Diddy, you'll, you'll hear me refer to or have referred to a lot, and he's gonna come home soon. But he's in prison. He's in prison for robbery. He did some stupid shit, a lot of stupid shit growing up. We talk every day. Me and Ern paid for his lawyers. We take care of what we can take care of while he's away. So this is a very big deal to me. It's like the reason that any of this exists because I got so fucking angry and frustrated as someone who's literally a product of their fucking environment has been used and scapegoated and rewarded for being violent and then uh, had his everyone just turned their back on him. It's a very important thing to me. Like his safety is important to me and his ability to come home to a fucking like fair shot is important to me. And I don't feel like he's ever gotten that. Cause I haven't heard from him since <clears throat> before Houston, which isn't normal at all. Kind of got worried, thought something was happening. And of course, something happened. A few months ago, he'd gotten into a, a situation with an officer and then he got put in the box. And then after he got put in the box, he got moved. He got moved, I had just talked to him. He had just gotten moved to a new place. And apparently they moved him again. And when they moved him again to this new place that's damn near in Canada, Albion, New York or some shit, they try to say he has a weapon. One isn't possible. Jay doesn't need weapons. Jay's never been one to carry. Jay is a weapon. Jay wanted to hurt you, Jay would hurt you. Trust me. My dog doesn't need a weapon. Any of those COs out there need their weapons if Jay wants to throw a fist in their direction. That, I can promise you. So I know for a fact my brother didn't have no fucking weapon in his cell and that these COs just do this fuck shit labeling my man as someone and then trying to push him further fucking himself up and, or getting more criminal charges, which files under further fucking himself up. His mother's worried. His mother's not doing well with the information. She just wants her son home. It's the holidays. It's not cool. Jay knows he fucked up, but uh, like this shit just like has thrown me off now. We figured out a bunch of stuff with business. We rekindled a business relationship that is going to make everything easier now because now Superior has chilled out because they got super busy doing stuff for Spider, the ski company. We now have figured out our garments and everything is going to work. Got that figured out. Then comes the fucking yang of the day where figuring out clothing and talking about high-end clothing and 400 GSM and there's a wall full of shoes. And my homie is in a fucking box. It's four by four with a metal toilet wearing the same bullshit and uh, being told what to do by people who think that they're doing a good job or whatever the fuck. Like that's my bro, man. Always someone's bro. That's somebody's fucking son, somebody's dad. Most likely, that's somebody's brother or sister. Like fucking people just treating motherfuckers like shit. Like I get it, people make mistakes and there's some awful people in prison. Prison's a fucking sensitive subject anyway, but damn dog, really? You know, it's like petty shit. Like that's my brother and he's gonna come home and we're gonna kill it. And you're still gonna be working at a fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? And there's no, no diss to the people who work in jails, but like, yo, if you do work at a jail, I hope you're one of the ones that try to like make friends with these people, man. So my bro Jay needs friends. He doesn't need people fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like he needs people to show him the world is a better place, not that it's full of people that want to see him fucking fail. It's just a rough day now. Like, it's not gonna be rough. Like, I can get my business done. It's like bummed, man. Like, it's hard to enjoy this shit. And that shit's happening. And then it's that evident. It's cool when I talk to him. We're able to just talk, and he's able to not, you know, I'm able to bring him out of jail for a minute in his mind. It's like we're chilling. But when there's like that cold hard reminder that this shit is just fucked and that my homeboy hangs up the phone, and he goes back to the bullshit, he goes back to being someone that he doesn't even wanna be out of survival. Like, it makes me fucking sad. Yeah, that's where we are today, you know? That's what's going on. And what I can, there's obviously nothing that can be done. Um, the only thing I can really do is try to, like, keep my man's head up. So, what I want, and I've had this happen before, and a lot of people have reached out to him, and he wrote a bunch of people back, and I'm sure right now he'll write everyone back. I'm gonna make sure he has enough money for stamps galore. But, like, straight up, if you don't want to write him, don't write him. You know what I mean? But if you write Jay, and you communicate with Jay, and you keep his fucking head up because he doesn't even know what's going on out here. You know what I mean? Like, he has no idea. You can send him pictures and you can send him letters. So if you want to take screenshots from the vlog, anything that you've seen, he's seen nothing. You know what I mean? He's seen nothing. Honestly, if we can blow his shit up so to the point where he's getting so much fucking mail that people think they just arrested fucking Jay-Z, that may be the happiest person in the fucking world. Like, honestly, for him just to get an influx of fucking love is all I care about. I'm gonna write his ass a letter every fucking day. Straight up, I'm gonna write a letter every day. I'm gonna do a drawing every day for Jay. That's gonna be my thing for the next month. A little letter and a little drawing, and I'm gonna send it out every fucking day. So that's where I'm at with it. Like, I just can't fight this in any way. Like, I can't fight. I can't fly down to New York and beat the shit out of COs. I can't hire anybody to beat it legally. I can't do anything. So all I can do is fight it with positivity. And the only way I know to do that is just to fucking send a massive amount of letters. Massive. I'm fucking angry. You know, it makes me like evaluate the world. It makes me get so mad at the fucking world about certain shit. It doesn't get me anywhere. 
So I this is all I can do. So hopefully, I mean he's gonna come home. He's gonna be on the vlog. So you might as well get to know him now. So if you write him, send him pictures, pictures of me, pictures of you, pictures of Ern, pictures of Omar, shoes, whatever the fuck you feel like, then you know consider yourself. You know consider yourself just a friend, dog. Like I I, I appreciate it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up this camera more today. My mood is not the best. Everything's fixed. All the shirt stuff fixed. We got 100% refund. We're reaching out to the people that we need to to fix situation completely and the Godzilla stuff is actually getting started early so friends and family will be very happy to know and Christmas things will be very great we may even honestly be able to drop it for the public before Christmas now so look at that a lot of good things happen today a lot of not so good things happen today. and right now Omar is being very sweet and sitting by the window and waiting for Abner to come home from surgery well, he's gonna come home soon all day all morning he's been sitting here Abner's in surgery. He's been there since like 11. He's getting some lumps removed. Should be able to pick him up in a little bit, hopefully. And then, uh, whew, relax, I guess. I know. It's a lot of shit for one day, dude. I know. Trust me. It's been a week. <laughs> Day. We all had a rough day. Did I tell you they showed me and sent me a picture of the mask? Ugh. It was, uh, he was basically growing a little loose inside of it. Like, that's disgusting. Like, it was like over a I'm gonna throw up. Okay, I'm gonna throw up. That's enough for me today. Goodbye. I'll see you guys tomorrow.